let us welcome to the next session here. So today we are going to discuss the about the pair of straight lines which is very very important for intermediate as well as 10 plus 1 and 10 plus 2 examinations. Even it may be very very important for competitive entrance examinations such as engineering entrance examinations or JE mains or JE advanced. So now in the part of coordinate geometry we have actually have pair, pair of straight lines. So let us have a discussion on pair of straight lines. So pair of straight lines this is under chapter 5 pair of straight lines. pair of straight lines. See now first let us consider an expression in x and y. So that means let us consider two expressions in x and y. So that is linear expressions. So that means the linear expression is the general form of the linear expression is in the form of in general ax plus by plus c where the mod a plus mod b does not equal to 0. So that means for example, so let us consider either expression or equations in x and y. So that should be linear. So that means let us consider the linear equations in two variables that is x and y. So first let us consider here, let us consider say L1 equals to let us say like this A1x plus B1y plus C1 equals to 0 say equation 1 here providing mod A1 plus mod B1 does not equal to 0. So let us consider one more the linear equation in two variables that is say L2 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Here also mod a2 plus mod b2 does not equal to 0. So that means if you multiply these two, so let us see what shall we get it. So that means if you multiply these two, we get L1 into L2 is equal to 0. So now the L1 into L2 is, is equal to 0 is called the combined equation of L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0. So this is named as combined equation. Combined equation of L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0. Okay, L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0. So now we can have one doubt. So the combined equation is actually restricted to the only two equations one L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0. In general the L1 is equal to 0 represents one straight line L2 is equal to 0 also represents other straight line. So generally for example if suppose if you take L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0 and L3 is equal to 0 what will be the combined equation of these three straight lines. So that can be done L1 into L2 into L3 is equal to 0 we get it. So in general for example if L1 is equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0 and L3 is equal to 0 and so on ln is equal to 0 or the straight lines here then what will be the combined equation of all these straight lines? Simply we can state that L1 into or L1 times L2 times and so on dash dash times ln equal to 0. So that is called the combined equation of L1 is equal to 0, L2 is equal to 0 and L3 is equal to 0 and so on ln is equal to 0. So that means for example if suppose so this can be extended for even n linear equations into variables or we can say that n straight lines. So that means suppose this L1 times L2 times L3 times so on ln equal to 0 is called the combined equation 
कंबाइंड इक्वेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ एल वन इज इक्वल जीरो एल टू इज इक्वल जीरो एल थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड सो ऑन एल एन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो दैट मीन्स नाउ वेन एवर जस्ट इफ यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस वन here l1 into l2 is equal to 0 is called the combined equation of l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 so that means if l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 are two straight lines then l1 into l2 is equal to 0 is called pair of straight lines that's nothing but combined equation itself only but pair it represents two straight lines so that means this l1 into l2 is equal to 0 can be factorized into the two linear equations that is l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 so we call here suppose suppose l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 are two straight lines in x and y represents represent straight lines straight lines straight lines that means equation represent equations of the straight line that are better the equations of straight lines straight lines then the combined equation that is l1 into l2 is equal to 0 is called a pair of a pair of straight lines a pair of straight lines we can call it as so that means if l1 into l2 is equal to a pair of straight lines it should be factorized into the two linear equations that means two straight lines one is l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 so that means we can write like this if l1 l2 is equal to 0 that in if and only if L1 is equal to 0, comma L2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, so for example, if you just consider the two linear equations, one is like this. For example, let us consider. Let us consider L1 equals to A1x plus B1y equals to zero. For example, C1 is constant. Let us consider for a while. So, in the similar manner, let us consider L2 equals to A2x plus B2y equals to zero. So, let us find out the combined equation of these two. So, that can be done. So, L1 into L2 equals to zero. Am I correct now? So, then we get here. So now, so now we get a one x plus b one y multiplied by a two x plus b two y. Equals to zero. So let us see what do we get it now. So now we are going to explore something now. So let us see what do we get now. So now if you multiply these two, these two are the expressions we need to multiply. A one x multiplied by a two x we get a one a two x square. Am I correct? And a one x multiplied by b two y we get a one b two x y. Plus, now b one y multiplied with a two x, we get a two b one x y plus b one y into b two y, we get b one b two y square equals to zero. So now this can be rewritten as a one a two x square plus a one b two plus a two b one of x y. Plus b1 b2 of y square is equal to zero. So 
this is the combined equation of this l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 or we can say that the pair of straight lines we get it now. So for the sake of our convenience here, so let us say, let us say a1 a2 equals to suppose say a whereas a1 b2 plus a2 b1 is equal to 2h and b1 b2 is equal to b. Now how does it become? How does it appear? So now it appears to be rather ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So that means so this can be put in this form. So now if you observe what is the degree of this equation? So the degree of the equation is here 2 here 1 plus 1 2 2 second degree equation and also moreover the degrees of each term is same. So that's why it is called a an homogeneous equation. This means the homogeneous ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 represents a pair of straight line and also which is homogeneous equation in x and y. So that means this is called the general form of the pair of straight lines, pair of straight lines in x and y the in which passes through the origin. Why should we call how do we know that as if it passes through the origin very simple concept here see just observe L1 this passes through the origin C1 is constant here C1 is absent the constant is absent in the second one is also constant is absent the both the equations pass through the origin that's why the pair of this pair of straight lines also passes through the origin so that means it is called the general form of a pair of straight lines which passes through the origin. So if a pair of straight line passes through the origin, it represents a homogeneous equation. It is an homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation. And also it is called general form. General form of pair of straight lines. Okay. So, in this topic, actually, generally, the pair of straight lines which passes through the origin is denoted by the that means we can call it as a notation or symbol notation. So it is represented by S. S means AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square. We can say S1, S1 means AX1 here sorry a x x 1 plus h of x y 1 plus x 1 y plus b y y 1. Next s 1 1 this is a x 1 square plus 2 h x 1 y 1 plus b y 1 square. So S12, this is AX1, X2 plus H of X1, Y2 plus X2, Y1 plus B of Y1. Generally, this is called abridged structure also. This is the generally we denote in this throughout chapter. The S stands for AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square and S1 and S11 and S12. For example, if you consider for example here L1 is equal to A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. 
If you consider L2 is equal to A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0. Suppose if you want to find out the combined equation of these two equations, see very carefully, it, it does not pass us through the origin. So it does not pass through the origin. So though we get here pair of straight line that is nothing but L1 into L2 is equal to 0. After prior simplification, so it can be put in this form that is the L1 into L2 is equal to 0 becomes AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C equals to 0. So this is the, it is not a homogeneous equation, it is a non-homogeneous equation. But whereas is concerned, this is the, actually here, this is the homogeneous equation, this is non-homogeneous equations. That means the pair of straight lines can be divided into two types. The one is homogeneous equation, which is in the form of AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square is equal to 0. The whereas the second one is AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C is equal to 0. So that means in this chapter, we are going to discuss on based on these homogeneous equations as well as non-homogeneous equations. So now in the next episode, we are going to discuss the theorems and problems. So based on homogeneous equations.